Dave Genet. All right, Dave, you get the final word, Dave. Well, it seems I've got a problem with that. Can you Back zoom out on that a little bit? Yeah, there you go. Well, okay. Second. That, that, that'll work for now because I'm dealing with the clock, and I appreciate, Mr. Mary, that you haven't turned the clock on yet. And if you leave the camera off me so I can show you three of these, thank you. There was a time I could come here and have a two-way dialogue with you. I could bring my neighbors. We could speak for 10, 15 minutes on critical issues in our town. These people have a right to ask questions. On the consent calendar, we see thousands and hundreds of thousand dollars being spent with a single vote. We have a little time to talk about it. <coughs> Guess what? Hundreds of thousands of dollars being spent to defend the city against lawsuits for something we didn't get, vote, get to vote for. I'm tired of people coming to you and lying with impunity and you say nothing. A man calling our police officers agents for the KKK two weeks ago calling our police officers terrorists and killers of young black men, women, and children in our city, and you sit here and say nothing. You saw the sign. They said 24 people showed up at a rally. They said we didn't pay for it. We did. You know how we paid for it? Dave today. Now, I could be like them and set this check on fire, but you've already burned up my checkbook. That's us. I want to know how much of that $2 million in police overtime went to deal with this. We provide a permit. We play by the rules. Over $2,200 to play by the rules. Our mall, Walmart, Interstate 5, Business 80, I Street, shut down, gridlock. How much of that police overtime? For our police officers, they condemn that protect them from angry motorists while they break our laws. Yes, like this man says, we demand answers, ladies and gentlemen, and we demand the truth. We, we need your, thank you, sir. So it's